For many of us, the word home includes not just our family home, but also our hometown. True enough for the TV renovation stars Martha Teichner has been watching. We're Aaron and Ben Napier. We live in a beautiful small town in Mississippi. Our town has seen hard times, but we're committed to changing that one house at a time. So began episode one, season one, of Hometown on HGTV. We'll be back to help you on that porch in a little while. We made the pilot and assumed it probably won't be on TV, it was just for fun. And then it was on TV, and it was 2.2 million people watched it. There was a snowstorm on the East Coast <clears> that day. Meaning a captive audience. But it wasn't a fluke. Now it feels like the whole city is just vibrating. Five years later, Aaron and Ben are HGTV superstars. They said, we want to make this a home renovation show, but also a romantic comedy. I feel like Romeo. My big sweaty Romeo. A love story about us and about us and our town and us and our friends. And about possibility. Laurel, Mississippi, population 18,000 or so, like so many other small towns, had been hollowed out. Aaron, a graphic artist, grew up in Laurel. She moved back with Ben, a furniture maker, when they got married after college. I don't like to be told what I can and cannot do. Told you. I don't like to be told that you cannot have a professional art career in Laurel, Mississippi. I don't like to be told that the place where I'm from is dead. It is interesting and it's creative and it's unusual and I wanted to share that with the world. This is amazing. All but wow. one of the 70 buildings they've renovated in Laurel are homes. But new restaurants and shops have opened in what had been empty storefronts, including Gildan Gentry, a stylish clubby men's store with a barber chair in the back. Hey, Martha. Hey there. For me and my friends, the idea of having a shop in downtown where we could go and get our hair cut, nothing fancy, a regular men's haircut, was like just the dream. A dream come true for the store's owner, Caroline Burks. Caroline and Corey are moving back home. He's not from here, but she is. Another Laurelite who came home to a town daring to reinvent itself. I jokingly tell tourists that Laurel had a 10-year plan, but the show helped compress that into, you know, three to four years. Tourists? Yes, tourists, thanks to the Ben and Aaron factor. It's because of them. You enjoy their personalities on TV of what they're doing for their town that you want to just see it yourself. We just got here. We're going to be here for two to three days, and all because of Ben. And Aaron, we love Ben. <laughs> what is it that you think makes people like you and your show? It's it a happy is place. a happy place. And they feel invested in Laurel and the story here, and I think they see something universal that maybe applies to where they're from, too. There were over 5,000 submissions. Which is how it happened that HGTV created a hometown spinoff called Hometown Takeover. It's obviously a huge undertaking, but if it's successful, then people should feel a renewed sense of hope in what can happen where they live. When it premiered on May 2nd, Do it. six and a half million people saw Tabitha Poe's struggling women's boutique transformed. What happened next? Less than 24 hours, the entire website was sold out. Just got them out of the box, sold. And the store was so busy that Tabitha was swamped. I was a mess. I could not hold back the tears. My shop can survive now. Dual access. Oh, dude. Dual access, yeah. Back in Laurel, Ben and a very pregnant Aaron raced to finish shooting a new season of Hometown before their second child was born. Don't sit on that, Don't sit on that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? They were about to show Donnell Thornton what they'd done to her home on her $60,000 budget. And welcome to the Thornton house. Oh my God. <laughs> the 
the reveal really is a surprise. <laughs> this is cute! Oh my gosh, the coffee! Isn't that cool? Yes! And did it turn out the way you thought it would turn out or completely different? It turned out better. Oh my gosh! <laughs> We get to be on the front row of Christmas morning over and over and over and over again. But for Aaron and Ben Napier, there's more to the story than the happy ending. We hope that it is about small town America. We hope that that's the takeaway from the show. Yeah, and not backsplashes. <laughs> I mean, we love a pretty backsplash. I love a great backsplash, it's true. <laughs>